The fifth graders at Manchester Elementary School had a great idea. In fact, they voted on how the cover of their yearbook was going to look this year. And on that yearbook, they wanted to have inspirational words in the form of crosses. That's right. Words like love, dream, faith, inspire. But they wanted to have them all in the form of a cross. Now, originally, the school went ahead with the idea and they went ahead and printed the yearbooks. However, before they could place them in the hands of the students, the school board took a more careful look at it and met with the parent-teacher organization who actually oversees the yearbook, and they thought that it would be offensive towards other students, and they voted unanimously to change the cover. In fact, they scrubbed all of the religious references from the cover of the yearbook, the crosses were gone, the words were gone. The only thing that was left was the sky. That's right, the sky that the words in the form of the crosses were on was all that was left. The board said that this clearly violated the school's all-student agenda and felt that it would offend some students that were not Christians. I, I just can't see how words in the shape of crosses could offend somebody. I, I, I really don't. Now, something else to keep in mind here about this school. This is the same school that back in December, the principal, who hates Christians, by the way, banned candy canes. That's right, banned candy canes and other religious types of Christmas decorations from being present on the school grounds. So and this school has a history of this. They do. And one resident there of the community had wrote a post on Facebook that every member of the school board should resign immediately for going against faith like this, we're pretty much tossing the idea that these fifth graders had in mind, completely throwing it in the trash, and promoting their own agenda. They called it a clear anti-Christian agenda, and that they should all, they should all just resign. Go do something else, because you're in no position to leave. You're just not. And we know that many of the schools are like this. I feel bad for all the kids. They worked hard on this. This was their idea. But the school said, no. Nope. Words like faith in the form of a cross would just be way too offensive towards another student. We're in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. When is he coming back? I don't know, but we can see the day approaching, that's for sure. Hopefully, these students will be able to persevere and actually live out the words that they had originally printed on the yearbook, even despite the fact that the words will not be on that yearbook anymore. But guys, I want to hear from you. What do you think about what this school did? Sound off down below. If you enjoyed these videos, please consider giving them a like and a share. Also subscribing here if you are new. I greatly appreciate all the support. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I will talk with you soon.